Good evening. <clears throat> Pause due to poor connection. I might have to move out here. Good evening, everybody. So I have to move over here a little bit. Hi, Sue. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Annette. Um, so I'm coming online tonight to talk to the lovely Cara O'Donnell from East Cork Nutrition. I'm going to have to move out here into my hallway a little bit. Um, here we go. Cara's going to come on and talk to us. <laughs> I'm scooting around on the floor here. Because the uh, connection's a bit better over here. She is going to talk to us Hi. this evening about... Hello! How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Brilliant. And I hope the connection is okay. Yeah, yeah, I can cut. Yeah, kind of, it's kind of going in and out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's a bit kind of blippy, but it's okay there now. Yeah, sorry, I'm moving around the floor here. <laughs> yeah. If you want to around the floor, okay. <laughs> Try not to show you all the mess of my bedroom anyway. <laughs> um, so... Yeah. Thanks so much for asking me. This is a great idea. Yeah. So um, this is Cara O'Donnell from East Cork Nutrition. And I invited Cara along because I've met her at a couple of events and she talks so much sense. Uh, we trained um, in the same school, but not at the same time. So in the IINH. And I've invited Cara on to talk to um, everybody about feeding your students during exam time, because as we all know, the junior and even cert started today. So do you want to introduce yourself a bit more, Cara? Oh, thanks. Yeah. So I'm a nutritional therapist working in Middleton in Cork. Um, I do one-to-ones and a good bit of tolerance testing as well down here and work online as well. So I'm just about wellness every day I suppose and that kind of functional approach to health that looks at the body as a whole and how everything okay I don't know is it my connection or, or is it your that... connection can you hear me because you're all fuzzy for me but you're back I'm fuzzy for you am I you're fine I'm gonna try and move it can anybody else can everybody else hear us give us a thumbs up if you can hear us I can try and move together, Deirdre. See. I've got some marshmallow on my lips. The kids are making s'mores. <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome. I'll move and see if I can get better. Unless will someone let us know if they can hear us, maybe. Yeah, that would be great. If you just give us a thumbs up, guys, if you can hear us. Because otherwise, it's not going to be any fun for you or for us. If you can't hear us. Seems okay there now. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I have a junior cert here, so he's very relaxed all the time. But I hear hearing stories, you know, lots of students very stressed and, and that sort of stuff. So it's important to look at the food and the stress. I see Jack Murphy there. Jack, can you hear us? Okay. Yeah, there's a few thumbs up coming in there now. So, um... So yeah, just very, it, I suppose I'd just be focused on that. Trying to keep stress minimum and really years, the benefits have sometimes to sneak in the good stuff, get them trying different stuff, seeing the benefits of that. Just of, if they ask for a bowl of porridge, I always put in three or four other things, you know, to make yeah <laughs> sorry 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 go back there if they ask for a bowl of porridge well yeah 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 yeah. that never happens in my house i give it to them they don't ask yeah. <laughs> um so yeah that's me really okay so you have one doing the junior search just started today yeah how did that go english for me it was easy <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see <laughs> It's a bit, they get an easier ride of it than when we were doing the junior search. Yeah, I'm sure I said okay. that as well. So. <laughs> I'm just going to move as well because I'm kind of, you're coming in and out for me. Um, I'm just going to move here. 
a little bit. <clears throat> I was trying to, anyway. Ooh. Okay, that might be a bit better. Okay. So, so um, yeah, I was just saying that in our day, uh, it was two exams, wasn't it, for the English? English. Breaking up that. Oh, dear, dear. Hold on. Hold on. That's fine until the internet doesn't work. I think I'm going to go downstairs as well. There's better connection. So go downstairs. Oh, so geez, everybody was watching. This is just one of those technical issues. <laughs> you know, that happens from time to time. I now have to go into Charlie's bedroom where the connection is a bit better, hopefully. Yeah. I'm gone upstairs. You're gone downstairs. Hey. Oh, I think I can hear you okay. better now. Okay. That looks better. Okay, I'm now in Charlie's bedroom. So, yeah, that's a bit better. Can you hear me? Yeah, kind of. Perfect. Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay, grand. Okay, so tell us what you think are um. You know, in terms of nutrition, especially for teenagers, because I think teenagers have quite specific nutrition needs at this age. But is there anything particularly for exams that um, we as parents should be looking to give our kids? Well, I mean, can you hear me there now? Yeah, that's good. Oh, good. Uh, just, you know, My in terms of the food groups, you're actually getting in, like, good choices of carbs, you know, or about carbs and things like that but it's really you want the right type of fuel source to bring so not too much sugar like keeping the sugars down sugar the white stuff and drink how much they cereal and their bread their rolls and all the rest of it really wanting to manage the amount of carbs and make sure there's release and then pairing it always with um the protein, yeah. Protein is massive for like brain function mm. and everything, like the building block of neurotransmitters, like for so much. So, we really need to be getting. Oh, I was only food um, school up yesterday with Coleman and part of the gas and what they have for breakfast. These were like six class now, but sure, teenage, you know, older teenage, similar. just like you know, rice krispies, big threadies, strawberries. Still, you know, you'd like we just be explaining to them, okay, well, your car, we could even do a better version of but we really need protein in there. It's important that they're a protein breakfast. So, can I just ask you, Cara? So, <clears throat> we have cereal here sometimes in the mornings um, and sometimes eggs. Like, I try and do eggs every morning, but um, the milk in your cereal, the protein from that, is that not sufficient? Relation, you know, it's kind of proportionate. The processed quick release cereal, I wouldn't think, mm. to be honest. But putting egg, like, I always say to people, like, rungs of a ladder, right? So, like, if you're having box cereal, if you add eggs, that's a major improvement, you know? If you're having, mm. eggs, if you change, change the box cereal to porridge, that's even more of an improvement. Like, one little improvement, you know? But just to make it a rounded meal for teens, certainly going into it, grams or, you know, whatever. Um, that you'd want protein in there with, and having that higher really their blood sugar, which is hormone balance in your cognitive, <clears throat> and you know that yeah. steady energy that you need that where you're not going to go slump at like a level of your exam. Yeah, 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 and you're not hungry yeah, as well. It really, really take out the need then for one first snack. The horse is going to absolute rubbish when they then you know two euro and the they go off. And then it's so that poor, not poor, but like lower, a higher carb breakfast. You're, you're hearing me okay? Yeah, oh, it's coming in and out, but I'm happy. I'm eating my chocolate here. And... <laughs> that higher carb breakfast is setting them off into blood sugar roll. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, you really don't want to be like going in loads of energy and later in the middle of everything. Absolutely. 
expect coming out need your in all day. Whereas if you get the protein, get a rounded porridge and eggs, and eggs. You know, if there could be a bit of veg in there and a little omelet or something, you know, we might make yeah whole pancakes out of eggs. Um, you know, there's so many combinations they're having. Yeah. I've always thought a bit of um, flax seed or even a little coconut oil content or something like that. Um, or they might have a little smoothie with like a good quality protein powder. And then that carry them through the morning. Lunch is another like water zone routines. You know, dinner is usually kind of fine. They come home, everyone's family dinner. But lunch is like, you know, hot chicken rolls and all the usual but, I know. So yeah, you're aiming for that like protein. If it could be better quality than that, it would be great. But like, to win your battles, but like that, even if bread could be better, like, um, even bread than white or really plenty of protein. If they're having a sandwich, a bit of salad, and if they're willing to, um, but fruit, you know, even you can have fruit. In your lunchbox, but you can also have veg like cucumber sticks, pepper sticks, thrown in box to you know whatever fruit. Um, and then snack bars and huge, you know, range better variety. So what in in turn like those snack bars and those protein bars, a lot of them are not great. Or no, yeah. They're, is there is there a particular range that you would? Yeah, I think the all reach ones look pretty good. That like basically look like a little patty of kind of peanut butter or something. You know, they look. Which one? Which one? I keep. Yeah, I missed you oh, there God. again. All, all real. All real. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, so that you can see to look at, you know, it's like any foods. So you can see to look at it how natural it is. Sourdough looks like a good bread. Like mm. it's. it's been through a lot of processes, but same with protein bars. The all real ones look like little, mm. they're kind of patty. Whereas the other ones that mine are so keen for me to get them are, you know, they look like a big caramel, like big double. You're just thinking, how could it be real? But at the end, the, like <laughs> at least it has, you know, it's this like tiny improvement. It's, it's a protein in it is better, of course, than just a Myers bar. You know, yeah, 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 doing that too often, much more better. Than them. Yeah, yeah, and um, so so breakfast for protein loading, and then in terms of dinner, then kind of the same thing at dinner: lots of protein, good quality protein. Yeah, but just good old fashioned foods. You know, like just a good, like traditional dinner, ideal meat, meat or whatever, like. I'd always be looking to put in a veg, maybe a fussy eaters, which would be things like blended in, you know, bolognese sauce or something like that. Um, but just veg, meat, fish, you know, those good natural things. And like, you don't have to totally overdo it on just enough. So like a lot of teams probably going to the gym, the last drinking kind of, can be drinking lots of protein. You don't need to overdo it. Um, Okay, so so getting back to the protein powder because my my eldest fellow who's sixteen now has started on the protein powders of late, and I'm like, hmm, what is your opinion on protein powders? Like any huge variety of them, I use one myself, a nice best plant one that, that I always would buy powder in the health shop rather than at the gym. You know? Yeah, you want the most natural, the least additives, things like that, and it's like handy option in my kitchen but i don't have it three times a day i have it like twice a week or something you know so it's just like having okay. a smoothie and you don't have any yogurt or you know you've had the finish yesterday whatever and you want something different very handy like okay i'll get this you know my protein powder and i can head out the door and know that my protein's in the smoothie um so it's just a handy option but of course you know you get much probably from egg eggs or cheese or butter or you know like some nice meat or oily fish or something. like sure yeah it's you know i have one 17 year old who eat absolutely anything i give him he often tells me after with an empty plate that he didn't like it you know, <laughs> you know he still eats it 
<laughs> the 15 year old asks me before any make that you know that's his deciding factor on whether he'll eat or not if i made it he doesn't want <laughs> Oh, I, I yeah, it's the same in this house. Did you make that? No, can we have something you didn't make tonight? <laughs> no. But no, he's getting more adventurous now. And so with him, he'd be like, could I just steak and mash and veg? You know, it's very just kind of simple, but he's getting like everything he needs. You know, I'd be wanting to eat like more exotic things, so he's no interest in that. And then yeah, yeah. would be like all like sushi and mozzarella and, you know, mad exotic tastes. Like, it's just so funny. But so it's whatever I, yeah, I've been a terrible person to kind of make three different dinners and all this sort of stuff because they've always had different tastes, you know, I just, okay. just want to get the good stuff into them. So I'm willing to go with their tastes to do that. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, I could never do that. I just, I just didn't have the patience yeah, to do like, it. To everybody, it's one dinner and that's it. I, I've never cooked a second dinner. I just don't have the patience. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of dinners. We're probably okay at dinner, but more like breakfast. You know, they nearly all like something different. Or, you know, they're all just know what they like. Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Might, I'd have to modify the one dinner to suit everyone. But they're good for smoothies. So I'd always like get in the bit of either frozen fruit or something. And... Maybe a bit of protein powder or yogurt or even coconut water. Yeah. Hot weather now is yeah, it's really can be amazing. I think because you can put so much stuff into yeah. them, and they love them. And that's the other like hydration be massive now in this weather. You know, for exam students as well. Like really, with the school yesterday as well, the topic of monster came up. So I'm sure that big, you know, go, go to people and that give them a pet or whatever like that level level of sugar and caffeine is stimulating to your adrenal lift, lift but it'll leave you the like like certainly at the moment we're all badly in need even picking up some of the next like forest um, so I'm, I'm losing you there again um Cara a bit so electrolytes i heard electrolytes yeah, yeah i wonder will i check my wi-fi connection if i can get it better like go and check. Can people hear me okay? It comes up if you can hear me okay. Um, <clears throat> if anybody's listening, can you just give us a thumbs up if if you can hear me okay? And then we'll talk about Cara now in a second. If 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 you can hear me okay, just give us a thumbs up. <laughs> and then cause, just to make sure that it's yours and not mine. I'll have a quick check. One second, you're done. You'll have a quick check. Okay. Okay, so to everybody who's just joined, you're very welcome. Oh, thank you, Maria. Um, why I'm talking to Cara O'Donnell from East Cork Nutrition. Thank you, Kay. And we are talking about what to feed our exam students because the old leaving cert and the old junior cert started today. Oh, thank you. Most of it is okay. Okay, Grant. Oh, you can hear us both. Okay, brilliant. Maybe it's just me then. I can't hear um, Cara so well. Um, she keeps coming in and out. Um, anyway, so yes, Cara was just saying there that um, in terms of breakfast, protein is really, really important. And that's not just for exam students. I think that's for everybody. So like if my, my, my thing on my gravestone, my kids will engrave on my gravestone, my gravestone. Will you put some protein with that? Will you put some protein with that? <laughs> no, it's about four oh, that might make a difference. Okay, brilliant. I was just saying that um, it'll be, be the kids will engrave it on my gravestone when I die. Will you put some protein with that? Will you put some protein with that? <laughs> you can hear us both. Hopefully that might be better. Can you hear me now, Deirdre? What's that? Oh my God, you're all fuzzy now. Um, can you hear me now? Yeah. That seems good. Yeah, just where you are there now. Don't move. <laughs> First, I just heard we plug in. Um, I know. Like, there's the color. You need to have color on. That's my one. Oh, yeah. Color on your plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one, actually. And my color and protein. Yeah. So, and usually, um, that is the easiest approach to have colorful veggie. Like, there, there you go. Um, yeah, yeah. 
So can I just ask you then? Okay, so obviously, I mean, it's all very, it's all very obvious stuff, you know, don't be drinking the monster because everybody knows don't be drinking the monster. I um, don't really know why not to, you know, and it's like okay. detrimental for your hormone because it's so stimulating to your adrenals. So like sure, they're like a bag of hormones, acne, acne, skin issues, like mood issues, anything is hormone. Issues, anxiety, that's all hormones. If you're putting in anything that is stimulating the bejesus out of your nose, like that is not helping matters, you know? Okay, okay, so that's really good. So the caffeine and the sugar. Oh, it's a perfect storm. Yeah, perfect storm, okay. Okay, that's good to know. Um, in terms of supplements, what what's your feeling on supplements for teenagers like, at this stage? Um, I suppose it depends how their diet is, you know, like my go to's for anybody, if they needed them would be a multivitamin probiotic and omega three. But so if you're eating, you don't really, if you're doing like regular or something, I wouldn't say that you need a multivitamin, but kids, it's a lot of teens not eating fish. So omega three would be very important for brain cognitive function. That could be a good one. Omega have a really kind of palatable one. Um, omega three and vitamin. Who's so that? Omega. Omega. So omega with an S. Oh, so Omega. Okay. Okay. Brilliant brand. They have such a good range of supplements and very easy to take. Just mix in water. It actually tastes actually like um, super split ice cream. Do you remember when we were kids? Oh, <laughs> yeah. A really good one, and the probiotic is just very good. Like if they've been on antibiotics over the last kind of few years just that beneficial bacteria in the gut but if you think yeah. very, like you see the thing a multivitamin probably might be the worst idea when you're stressed to be using up a lot more certainly those ones that are involved in, like b vitamins magnesium things like that it's a great one that i've used over the years balance nerves which is like a mix of just the stuff for stress you know if anyone is very stressed over the least um, where it's that? Oh, sorry, what was that? What, what was that called again? Balance Karen? for nerves it's by Higher Nature. Oh yeah, okay, Bank yeah. Magnesium, but love L-theanine, uh, lemon balm, chamomile, things like that, where it's lovely and calming, but not like drowsy at all, you know. But L oh, okay, it's a good one. That's amazing for a study, which I've used myself. For it's L-theanine. It's a you know, it's in green tea. Okay, yeah. For having drinks and stuff, green tea would be a great option because it really kind of gives you a little pep but gives you great focus. Okay. Oh, I must start drinking that myself. Just Every any green tea? Green tea, but you can get it in a capsule form as well. So for anxiety, it's very good, but for studying as well. And another thing in the health shop is just rosemary oil. You like rub it on the skin or having it in a burner or something. Again, it's very good just for kind of concentration and focus. No, oh, you might um, message me all these things that I can put them in the caption. Oh, yeah. So that people can reference them because um, that's really useful information. A list of notes here for you. Um, oh, yeah. And, yeah, like because the lunch is a very hard one to manage. So I was thinking like even when they come in you know, in the afternoon, so like dinner's not ready, yeah. a couple hours or whatever. But that's actually a great time of day to catch them for a bit of good stuff. So whether it's a smoothie or maybe having a homemade soup ready or something like that, you know. Um, that you can just, they're starved, they really just want something and food ready then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just talking to people recently about that and about the timing of food. And when kids come in from school, well, certainly in my experience, that is when they are, they'd eat the hand off you. So that's what I was saying to parents is that's the time to get the nutrition into them is is when they're hungry. Definitely. Um, Plenty of treats, like I, I be give mine plenty. Of, they're all good, you know, energy balls, cookies, but they're like oats, oh, you know, chia, like all sorts of like. It's all the same, just getting it into them in different ways, you know. Yeah, yeah. And um, do you do all? Did you make all that stuff yourself? What stuff then? was that? The uh, power balls and the cookies and all that. Is that all? Yeah, made? yeah. Like I, it always be something. Yeah. Well, like healthier options of treats. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. There are better options at, yeah. on the market now than they're they're everywhere. I was just at um at Bloom at the weekend, and there's an Irish company are milling their oats to make oat oh, flour. Amazing. Now I know, yeah, I know it's very easy to make, but if you don't know, you don't know. And to have it actually as a product on the shelf is actually amazing. Genius. How did I not think of that? Yeah. Right. I know, I know. <laughs> Only ever, I would say, use oats for thing for scones, for like cookies, for pancakes, ever like organic oats. Bloody brilliant, great fight. But organic is important. One of the most heavily crops. So for, for oats, any of your, yeah. your grains, really for teens, like I'd be saying, like we've we've made our our next kind of generation. You know, these are the makers of the next generation. Like really, we need to start like. You know, when we were kids, probably was only the start of the spring and things like that were now rampant. And those sprays that are going on food are the main endocrine disruptors, like the main thing, like getting in the way of our hormones, but also the main cause of injury. So like, like if you did one thing for them, like choose organic oats, organic food, or organic dough, like organic meat, you know, that fat substances really hold on to things. Um, and that is one major load off in terms of like toxins going into the, you know, I had someone telling me, um, it's so expensive, you know, so expensive. And I'd be like, what would be more worth spending your money on your health, you know? And there's the, some quote, what you save on by buying cheaper food, like you'll end up paying in the doctor's surgery. You know, these like what goes us up every day, imagine taking out that load of toxins on them you know yeah 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 that's a really good point um i think people don't think like that no um just like see such bad cases now of like you know skin issues and cycle issues and mood issues and things like that like there's something going very wrong with the hormones and the gut to figure out what the simple change what is yeah and um, um, it, it was just a message there from somebody that the sound is not great is it any better now oh Can... it... <laughs> we're just having a, a fair shock in time here with the uh the old um wi-fi so um shiv you might say whether you can hear me first if you give me a thumbs up if you can hear me um so annoying because i hear you perfect now okay and i can i can hear you coming in and out so um Anyway, what we'll do is we'll try and capture a lot of this in 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 the caption and um, put a lot, a lot of it in the caption. Okay, so Shiv, you can hear me. Can you hear Cara? Oh, <laughs> oh you're full, Cara. Troublemaker. <laughs> you are such a troublemaker. You're wearing that gorgeous green again. Oh, God. You are so... The green is lovely on you. Um, other... so... Is we'll keep talking so she can see if she can hear me talking. Oh. Oh yeah, good idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Beneficial fats probably is a place as where as well where they fall down, you know, because you mightn't think to get get it into them. But like that, you know, I'd always be trying to get bit into them. Maybe like you know, I'd always use real butter. That'd be a good one. Yeah, a bit better. And yeah. Okay. And, you know, it's the things that are going into them every day: the bread, the milk, the butter. Like making them as quality as you can. So like just trying to get really good quality milk, um, organic definitely, and then using real butter and then bakers like amazing baker in town. So I'd get sourdough there, and then when we're toasting butter, I'm like, yeah, grand, because I know it's all amazingly beneficial. You know? Um, yeah, the fats like just adding like that now. If Connell's having porridge, I might just put in a little bit of um coconut oil, you know, because I know he's going to be active, and fat is a great fuel source as well. But like amazing brain food, or using yeah. different. Fat fats varying them in when I'm cooking the dinner so I'd like always be varying either extra virgin olive oil or using some or butter or coconut oil and then I'm in that way um and do any of them cook yeah yeah <laughs> I was gonna tell you a joke but he'll kill me if I do um oh go on go on go on go on <laughs> they're all well eldest isn't the other two yeah are well able but the middle fellow would all right he'd cook up he made like Buddha bowls or something they're totally blown away but uh, gorgeous yeah no it's great sure to get them in the kitchen 
yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah. I'm not going to disagree with that. <laughs> you're the woman for it. Oh my God, you're stuck. amazing. Um, the colors is the big thing, I suppose, because that like really easy approach for them. And you just see colorful plates or colorful shopping because it's in all the different colors and all those different things that have like you know, different benefits all over the body. And, you know, anto, can't even pronounce half them. Um, anthocyanins, brilliant for brain performance um, from like things like berry flavonoids from like citrus fruit, brilliant for learning. Or um, say avocado, really good for brain function. So it's like, if you can think, just kind of eat a rainbow, like all the colors of foods, you know? So if you like yeah. red lentils into the, or red kidney beans into chili or so, you know, like all those different colors, hemp seeds thrown into a porridge or, in, or like berries, beetroot, spinach in the smoothie, like all the different colors bring different. And then by choosing lots of colors, that's just an easy way to get like loads of different variety. No yeah 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 that's yeah that's great i mean yeah i'd be a big advocate of that um eating the rainbow yeah. and like even treats dark chocolate like has great benefit like i might melt and just have berries and fruit with it and should that be gone like that <laughs> Two oh. yeah yeah brilliant but yeah. in interesting ways and easy for them you know so i'd always say that even when they're young like if you have a bowl of fruit They'll just walk past it. If you have a big plate of chopped up fruit, it'll be gone in five. You know, chopped up veg sticks, like just having it out and prepped and available to them. And they, yeah, 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 that's amazing. And I actually just, I had um, my daughter Maggie is fourteen, and we had a load of girls over here um, on one day for her birthday, and I made a massive platter of fruit, and it was just gone like that. Amazing, so nice. Yeah 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 whereas you know they would have just eaten crap but like they made their own pizzas i'd made like my own pizza Lord. sauce and um then they made sushi so they made everything themselves so that was part of the party like um now i know that's not for everybody um but it was a great way to get them it's an activity as well totally. as everything like, else like, even if it's just a tiny change like say they all want pizza and chicken nuggets like they're never yeah. eat, eat a few peppers and cucumbers. If the, if they're not there, they're definitely not going to eat them. Do you know? But it's like that. Just like chop up a few apples, chop up a cucumber and a few peppers. Like if they don't eat them, just throw them into the fridge and you can have them as part of your lunch tomorrow or whatever. You know. But it's like they yeah, eat yeah. It and it becomes norm. I think is a big but like I think if, if I yeah. like, like certainly the lunch. I think it's very kind of hard to navigate. So I just decided secondary school do you know what? i'm not going to worry too much about it i'll try but more i'll focus on what i can get into them when they come back in the door but breakfast, yeah yeah especially at exam time breakfast i think are gen across the board from what i see in the schools is the one that needs to be like improvement or whatever because it's just such a busy time of the day everyone's like oh pull out the box pull out the milk and you know sure i did it for years um but i can think like cocoa pops is 30 there's Three teaspoons of sugar in 30 grams of cocoa pops, right? If I was to pour out 30 grams, it could probably fit in my hand, you know? A, big, yeah. a tea in a box of cocoa pops, you know, Saturday morning. Yeah. On. Like they're only supposed to have us, like they're only supposed to have seven teaspoons of added sugar in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I know. Um, But I always think like, to make a scrambled egg takes as long as it takes to toast oh, a slice of bread. And even like it's the main thing people say to me. I don't have time to make eggs, and I'm like, it literally takes as long as it takes to make like a, a minute longer than making a bowl of cereal, like or making a slice of toast you'd have the eggs made. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's brilliant. Like eggs are eggs are brilliant. Um, Charlie would eat eggs now quite a few mornings, but the other two don't eat them at all. No, and you're left then wondering what to do and if it's porridge like that you can get like chia seed or, or hemp seed or a little protein powder or um greek yogurt or something like that and you know like that with yogurts it's a fruit yogurt you know rather than buying always fruit ones, 
by like a really good quality natural one and then add in like fresh berries and some honey or whatever and it's a very different thing then and they're getting a lot more benefit from it yeah yeah, yeah like yeah. you can make kind of like a big ordeal out of that holy yogurt bowls of berries you know so that they can help themselves and suddenly it's more, you know just yeah yeah i i often here in this house we often have like a nice toast with like a good quality peanut butter that's another great source of protein i think in the morning yeah, it's just really kind of getting familiar trying out different healthy snacks but they are like again they all come from the same veg nuts seeds meat fish eggs you know it's all just like different varieties of them but like that yeah handy snack it's like rice cakes oat crackers things like that are fierce handy hummus and like uh, um energy balls that's just really like dates and cacao powder and almonds or something like that and like what else was i gonna say there now what did you say oh peanut yeah a peanut butter a yeah peanut yeah. butter is a great one as well you know even slices of yeah. peanut butter in the middle but oh yeah, yeah, the yeah difference between that and say just grabbing like a snickers or a dairy milk or something like you know, it's absolutely no benefit. Sugar rush, like, you know, headed on the blood sugar roller coaster, getting in the way of your hormones, damaging your gut health versus complete nutrients, beneficial fat, good carbs, protein, like, you know, what's the word? Yeah. Supporting everything. Yeah. I think, um, I think Richard, who would be our, was our lecturer when we were both <laughs> uh, in the IINH, I think he first introduced me to the notion of a like an anti-nutrient yeah. so it's when you're eating something that actually drains you as opposed to giving you any nutrition like it's it actually fights against your body so things like you know well um fizzy drinks for example would be one i know sure if you look yeah for yesterday's school like i have a can of coke i should have pulled it out here for you a can of coke with a bag of 10 teaspoons of sugar, that's how much is in all a can of coke and we were saying to the kids like would you get a glass of water now teaspoons of sugar into it and drink it and they were like oh my god but it's like that's you know we said would you would you pour this can of coke into your plant water it and they were like no i would die and we're like okay but like think about that you know but um oh sure there's such amazing drinks out there now like you know kombuchas and kefirs like so many amazing irish brands that taste fab for like a fizzy drink in the summer they'd be yeah filled with yeah um and then it's just yeah like when we're drinking all these you know fizzy drinks and stuff it's actually probably a need for hydration but those like i think i cut out before those ors tablets you know they're effervescent hydration tablets in the pharmacy oh okay yeah i haven't heard of those before that's literally um like an, as initials ors i don't know what it's for but um they're they taste great and they are hydration so at this time of year it'd be great for them so is that the electrolytes yeah. as well you were talking about? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, send me that in a message as well. And I'll, put... <laughs> I'll never remember any of that. <laughs> I'll write it down after and send it on to you. But it's realising yeah. that, you know, it, like your busyness is the main issue that I see in clinic. You know, everyone's busy. It's like, you know, just taking that small extra few minutes, even planning ahead to have a good breakfast going into them is really going to stand to them for the exams because it's completely related to like your brain health or like at the root of that is your nervous system your endocrine system everything you know so if like things are putting out your hormones if you don't have the building blocks there for your hormones don't have the building blocks there for your neurotransmitters like nothing's going to be working optimally yeah yeah it's amazing really that teenagers survive <laughs> because I, I i look at some of what teenagers eat i'm like oh my god it, it actually and i'm i will do a, a bit more around it because i think it's the real elephant in the room like i talk a lot about kids primary school kids up to kind of primary school sixth class but when they go into first year it's like the door has been opened it's like they've gone into charlie's chocolate factory <laughs> like you know of course there's hormonal changes going on and you'd expect some changes but i mean like there's some extreme, extreme cases coming into me of like desperate skin issues, like desperate anxiety, desperate anxiety, you know, desperate hormonal issues, fierce weight issues, issues with cycle. And you're like, 
that's not normal you know like it, it shouldn't be to that extent so some like things are majorly putting out our hormones and like they seem like they get away with it you know but what i see is a lot of like 30 40 year olds that are kind of at that point that's been built up from your teens and 20s where the body's like oh yeah i'm flying it i got through it and then you hit 35 40 and the body's like nah I'm going to give up the ghost here now, major IBS, major hormonal issues, everything gone wrong, you know? So it's like building them up now for a healthier life going forward and realizing that they're making our grandkids, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's a very valid point because, yeah, I didn't think of it that way before. Do you know that, yes, they are, that's literally what they are, the, the future. I know we talk about them as the future generation, but they are literally going to be the ones that will birth the next generation. So um, it's really important to try and protect them and protect their health. Like it's, it's really challenging, I think, for teenagers. Like, never mind social media and all that, but the food environment around them is just so bad. There isn't probably enough education, certainly in schools, uh, like yet, about it, you know? But like just any bit that we can teach them. And I think, you know, like we all know as mothers choosing your battles. But what I notice if I just kind of make, you know, don't say like you have to do this. You know, if I just kind of make a comment in conversation, oh, do you know what I heard or something? And literally like in, within the next couple of days, I might just hear someone saying, I just decided I'm going to try this for a change, you know, and you're like, oh, my God, they listen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You that told them, but. But um, yeah, just it's like leading by example is a big thing. Like, and the more that familiar it is, so the more they see healthy food around the house, see you eating healthy food, saying positive things, you know. And like, stress is a huge thing now at exam time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a big focus. Like, there's other nutrients as well as outside of food, but like sunlight, you know, getting in contact with nature, just breathing, getting fresh air. So like, really kind of promoting all that at the moment. Like, their work is done really. You know, in terms of yeah, kind of calming the nervous system, um, and encouraging them to like get outside, do a bit of exercise, enjoy yourself a little bit. You know, fifteen-year-old with a very sweet tooth. What is an okay amount to give them? Like two hundred calories of chocolate. I'm not sure what two hundred calories of chocolate would look like, but interesting fact. Like when I was a kid, we used to get a treat on a Friday. And um, now stats show that people are having up to four sugary treats a day. Yeah. One a week versus 28 a week, if my maths is right, isn't it? 20, that is. Easy. Yeah. In answer to your quest, the best answer I'd give you, Martina, is like, yeah, we're supposed to not have any more than five or six teaspoons of added sugar in the day. So if you can look at labels, you're looking for carbohydrates of which sugars, four grams of sugar is a teaspoon. So I wish I had my little products to show you. Basically, if you calculate the sugar in a Nutella jar and put it back in, it fills the jar. 56 teaspoons in a Nutella jar. <laughs> or 12 teaspoons in a bottle of Ribena. Um, six teaspoons in a fruit yogurt. They're the usual ones that I show. Or, but like, you can look at two granolas in Super Value. This is what you, if you see me in Super Value, that's what I'll be at. Like, look, yeah. one is like half, half, the, half the sugar of the other. But it's the same with every you know, yeah. look at labels. Um, things vary so much. It's like either making healthier treats or like in the health shop or the health aisle in the supermarkets. A lot of them have now, even in Aldi and places that they'd have healthier bars, you know. But it is important to look at your label because I've seen someone with like a full trolley of the health bars in Aldi one time on their health kick. And like each bar had, you know, a small little bar like three teaspoons of sugar or something so it's just really good practice your labels if you're not sure yeah so in terms of the chocolate then so uh what would be a good well i suppose with chocolate then you're looking at the cacao um the amount well, of cacao in it I just so like then dark chocolate to make it easy and mine like that now like melted up and like um I can like mix in berries and nuts with it and then reset it. So it's like a fruit nut yeah. you know, or else let them dip fruit into it or something like that. And that it goes a lot further, you know, and they're getting more benefits in it as well. But again, yeah, yeah with just kind of chocolate bars and things like that, it's just a big sugar hit. And then it's kind of, you're thinking 
you know, it's kind of really affecting appetite. And if it can like be something some way healthier, maybe after their dinner or something like that, it'll be better. Um, is it like, what do you suggest for that child that has a really sweet tooth? And because I may or may not be interested in this for myself, because I also have a very sweet tooth. <laughs> um, I have weaned myself over the years and I only really eat dark chocolate now. And you actually can really only eat so much of that. So, um, but I have had to wean myself off over the years. But is there anything that can help? Is, is there anything that can supplement? Well, but blood sugar would be the main thing so like one cause for having sweet cravings would be if there wasn't enough if there was like say too much carbs in the breakfast you know so that you went up in a spike and then when you get the dip is when you look for the sugar yeah higher protein meal will make less need probably or like less chance of a sugar craving later on so really keeping up their veg keeping up keeping them satisfied with like fiber and protein sources should help to curb it out but in the short term there's that habit as well of just really having like a sweet tooth so kind of just going for like healthier sweet options in the short term like that now little energy balls or you know i'd make like a healthier chocolate cake with almond ground almonds or using the dark chocolate if they're willing to have that um or yeah. you know, like really nice fruit chopped up fruit salad or fruit kebabs or something like that can be like fun and uh tasty or making like yogurt with berries and topping it with good honey and stuff like that. But actually cinnamon has a great benefit of helping to balance your blood sugar and curb sugar cravings. So if you okay. like porridge or into a smoothie or something, that might help as well. Um, but yeah, I'd be more looking also if you if the gut is kind of off and the not so good bugs are kind of getting a chance to flourish. They really like sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All for it. So even that idea of kind of building up the gut bacteria with either like gut friendly foods, not maybe that easy with teenagers, but or a probiotic if they haven't had one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose that for, like I know in this case, like mine wouldn't take kombucha or anything like that, but they will take the like a gut friendly uh, yogurt. Like they would take that. That that's a good one yeah. to anything or just up a yeah. smoothie and. So soup especially in that blended form is great fiber to get in for the gut yeah um car i'm gonna this is gonna finish shortly because i think it i can only do an hour does anybody have any questions before we let the lovely cara <laughs> anyone's typing um i'll just yeah another very good one is stewed apple that's a very easy one to get into all the house stewed apple and cinnamon actually um time to hide the not tell <laughs> yeah. apple even in granola on the top so it's a bit like apple crumble you know but like benefit cut or um chicken stock you know if you make your own chicken stock and put it in. yeah yeah amazing yeah and yeah martin it's like it's not to say don't ever have those things but it's just seeing how they can so like if they're not supposed to have more than six or seven teaspoons and like i've showed a day of just a few treats where it's like 30 grams of sugar in a day you know it's so easy for them to get loads okay yeah there are a few products out there now to kind of rival Nutella. Oh, yeah. Um, that are much better. Um, so I just bought some Harry's Nut Butter at the weekend and it had cacao in it and cacao nibs. And it's like, oh, OK, it's not Nutella, <laughs> but it gives you that little bit of a chocolate kick and the peanut butter as well. And it is lovely. Yeah, I know. I can imagine no teenagers. No, but it might just get them to say no i'll just have butter on my toast peanut butter or something for change but yeah it's just like you know keeping these things as a treat and not having them as like everyday part of breakfast or something you know yeah yeah um another thing it what's that? marketing for nutella is like the healthiest family breakfast scene ever you know it's like scary it is scary yeah i was just saying to somebody at bloom at the weekend like imagine if the fruit and veg companies had the marketing budget of all the processed food companies. <laughs> but imagine, no, imagine I, they could tell you, oh my God, it's good for so many things. It's just mad. The world's gone mad, girl. <laughs> the world has gone mad, yeah. But um, even with the Nutella as well, another thing you could try is just like some nuts and some, jar like I would put peanut butter and then maybe a couple of chocolate chips on the top on the slice of toast. And it gives you a gorgeous little chocolate kick, but it, with 
but like you're minimizing the amount of sugar because you've dark chocolate chips and then you've got your protein so it's lovely that's a great one and it's like having a healthy base but then making a nice that works great here like if i was making porridge you know i could put a load of things in of berries or like something that they might notice like now a few hemp seeds and then they kind of don't seem to notice too much berries and then like that if i had chocolate chips lying around for something i could put a few of them on the top you know and it's like so enjoyable then but at least it's a real healthy base to it yeah 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 our um grating chocolate is great because you use really hardly any when you grate chocolate a square of chocolate goes a long way when you grate it like i don't know did i talk about bread but that is a big one the difference yeah between sourdough and slice pan so like yeah something that they're getting so much of and if you think like it takes six hours or something to make sourdough and like 15 minutes to make slice pan you're thinking mm, they're probably not really the same thing but what yeah. is just people so like blow stomach issues after slice pan and then perfect after sourdough so if you can get it for them it's like doing them much better you know much much easier to guess because of the way that it's made yeah 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 i know that whole charlie wood charlie wood process and all that it's not how the bread is made um okay any last questions before cara goes and off to make sourdough and <laughs> and power balls <laughs> sourdough <laughs> oh i could never do that it's way too much work <laughs> which is better in brown bread whole wheat whole meal whole grain whole meal i think am i right um cheapers that's a good yeah i'm not a hundred percent sure now like definitely anything closer to the product is going to be the better choice so like brown better than white but more kind of baker's bread um or sourdough going to be the best choice it's just again varying them you know if it's like cuisine de france rolls three times a day it's very very tough on the system but there's a great range actually beef wrap um oh yeah, and yeah, they're just yeah. oh my god they're so handy because they make like quesadillas or pit pockets or whatever really like easy on, on the system We're kind of uh, losing you there. Um, oh, should you aim to have protein with each meal? Yes, I think Cara did discuss that earlier on. So sorry if you've just joined. Yes, 100%. And especially with breakfast. Isn't that what you were saying? Oh, yeah. Like that. You see, start day is when you get the biggest spike from too much carbs. So certainly a high protein breakfast is the key to well avoiding going into that blood sugar roller coaster. Whereas once you're in it, you're kind of in it for the day only to get a chance to start again the next morning you know so if you start with a high protein breakfast it should avoid you going into the roller coaster and then making sure there's protein in the lunch as well they're the things that they'll kind of fall down with protein at dinner um but yeah it's just the place i suppose where people are most likely not having enough protein when they're going for cereals or just porridge on its own or something like that yeah or adding things into the porridge like greek or you know greek yogurt and fruit or um even chia I mean, the old yeah and even an egg you can add, add an owl egg into your porridge and kind of make a baked porridge yeah, or like <laughs> porridge egg and yeah oats egg and milk make just in the nutribullet the hand yeah. pancakes done in seconds yeah yeah yeah, yeah just of getting the eggs in leg muffins we do it in a muffin tray and they're very hard for lunch or kind of a box salad box if they're kind of willing to have that you know good yeah quality empty of protein brilliant brilliant Cara thank you so much you're just sorry for all the oh listen don't worry about it <laughs> lovely well I see you I'll see you at the Cork Summer Show. Can't wait. Yeah, yeah, that's in, is that two weekends away or three weekends? Yeah, after next only. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to Belfast tomorrow for um, the Belfast Food Show. Lord, you are a busy woman. Just at the moment, June is bananas, but um, yeah, but you're busy too, going into schools and all sorts of stuff. You nano nano out of it. Watch you at uh, Mallow. You're just incredible with kids. Fair play. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so awesome. much. Well, I love it. Brilliant.
Yeah. Love it. Um, Listen, thank you passion. so much. But passion that, shows through to them and gets them motivated. Yeah. Well, exactly. And and I'm the same. It's not about telling them you must eat this, you mustn't eat that. It's about making it interactive and interesting and fun for them. Isn't that right, Charlie? Oh, thanks. Charlie's here now. <laughs> Come on, hello, Charlie. No, no, he doesn't. All right, listen, thank you so much, Cara. Um, you're going to send me on some of those notes and I'll put them into the caption for anybody who uh, missed it and any way to save it as um, a good, a great resource for parents. And Thanks. thank you so much. Enjoy you the rest so of your good summer show. Bye. Yeah. yeah, the Cork Summer Show. Yeah, see you, Cara. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining in. I'll save this as a live now shortly.